and welcome. I'm Sebastian and I make travel videos. But today, another part of the series about what I think about a certain place that I've been to. And we're going in chronological order. So if you haven't seen the first part, which was about the Tenerife file and the first place that we visited, it's gonna be right in the top corner of the screen right now. Check it out. It's the first part about this series, what I think about locations that we visited. So second location that we've got to was Croatia. It was the first time for me in Croatia and I didn't really know what to expect. Like I didn't expect too much of it. I've seen some photos but I didn't really know still what to expect and let me tell you, Croatia blown my mind away. The first time I've been there, my expectations were shattered. Like it blown me away how beautiful it was there. there it is very sunny. The water is clear, like as clear as you can get. And it's very salty. Like that is something that hit me very strongly, it was so salty, I didn't expect it. Lots of sun, very nice weather, very good climate. And it kind of feels like the people there are pretty much the same kind of people you would have here in Poland because it's pretty much the same ethnic group. So it does feel like a little bit like a mix between something more warmer, but at the same time beautiful landscapes and water and all those like... It isn't as green as I expected. I expected it to be much more green. It's much more rocky and sandy, I would say. But it's Mediterranean. What did I expect? It's gonna be like that. But anyway, it does feel like a beautiful location. It, for me, it is something that blown me away totally. It is a place that I can wholeheartedly recommend. Like I, at first, I didn't know what to expect, like I said. But then, every day there, I just fell in love with this place. And I know it's a location that I certainly like to visit every year now. We've been there twice. Aftix actually has been there for way, way more times, like seven times. It's a location that people, once they go there, they actually tend to go there every year because of how good it is. If you want to see a little bit more about Croatia, there's actually a lot of videos. I'm gonna put the playlist in the top right corner of the screen right now. It's a whole playlist about the videos that I made for Croatia and I think there's a lot of them. So, especially in the Dalmatia region, so if you're interested in that kind of stuff, maybe learn a little bit more or you're interested in going there, Highly recommend to see that because you might find something cool, might find a new location that you have not heard about. One of the things that was really surprising for me was how the storms play out there. Not only you don't hear the thunder or like the storm at all, especially as farther out, you see it, it's like it's, it's pretty much like a party. It's one thunder after another, like the, you see the lightning all the time, but you don't hear it. Only if it's going from the land. If it's from the land or it's close to you, it's so loud, so hard, like the storms there are actually they're beautiful. Like I love them because they're so much different, they're so extreme, but it's very cool. But other than that, it's a very sunny location. There's pretty much no cloud coverage ever. Lots of sun, lots of water. It's fantastic. If you want to spend time with your family close to the water, you know, swim a lot, it's a beautiful location. The prices there are a little bit different and even though they're cheaper if you're coming from like the Eurozone, they're still more than they are here in Poland. So it's kind of like a different league of its own pretty much, like somewhere between both places. But it's still a very cool place to be. If you're coming from the Eurozone, you're not gonna feel like it's actually that much. So if I would have to say positives and negatives for negatives, I don't really know. I don't really remember anything that I would say is a negative. Like, I truly don't think there's... Maybe the prices like they sometimes are steep like we've seen pizzas for one person that were way overpriced compared to what you can get like here in Poland or even like US oh they have amazing ice cream that is one of the positives they have amazing ice cream and like the food overall is good there the positives the weather the pretty much like the whole nature and landscapes the water the warmth the sun sunshine and overall feel how it is like it is beautiful like it's one of the more beautiful landscapes that you will ever see if you like water if you like you know that kind of landscape because let's be honest some people like snow and it's not gonna be something for them it's definitely a place to see and it's definitely a place that i consider something more like a place that you actually visit every year to make to have that break you know you're not traveling there to see as much as possible it's more like you're going there to rest to enjoy the time with your family by the water by the sun by the trees that kind of stuff, that kind of lifestyle. And if that is something you're looking for, 
free shop is definitely for you. So that's gonna be it for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. But before we end this video, there's a couple of things that I wanted to mention very quickly. First off, if you like the music in this video or in any other of my work, check out Epidemic Sound. If you choose to sign up through the link down below, there's gonna be 30 days free for you. And if you choose to sign up through that link, there's gonna be a kickback for me. Second off, if you want to support this channel, check out the link down below for my website. Anything you buy from there goes back to me. And also Patreon, if you want to support this channel in that way, well, there's gonna be things that are gonna go your way too. Basically, we send out the monthly postcards from the places that we visit. Some are handmade with handmade drawings and our photos, some are actually from the locations that we visit. If you're into that kind of stuff, check out the link down below for Patreon. And last but not least, if you want to join the travel community, check out Travel the World. It's a Facebook travel community. So that's gonna be it for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again, and I'll see you next time.